Hi everyone and welcome to part 52 of the Sands of Time. Now last time we returned to China and uh, we got the jade and now we've got to convince uh, three locals so that we can get this Pangu's axe. We've convinced two so I think what we'll do we'll take him to the marketplace because I think the guy in the bookstore is a friend So um, we've only got to do one more, <laughs> then we can report back in. A lot of running around in this, isn't there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> bit too close. Right, where's the bookstore? Oh, he wants to buy a board breaker, which he's already got. That's the uh, book merchant. Right, let's do a funny greet and see how far we are up with this, uh, with our friendship level. Yeah, I remember, there it is. There's a step thing there that we can... Uh, we can do, but we'll need to get this Pangu's axe. Oh, he's just an acquaintance. What's this? I'll be chatted to. I think he might have enough on there actually to convince him. But we'll let them do this chatting first. We've got they got a couple of things in common, which has helped. What's this? Oh, Sue's about exercise. What's he doing answering the phone? What's this? Lucy would like to chat. No thanks. A bit busy at the minute. <laughs> uh -huh. Cool. Right, so now he can, what was the opportunity? You are the only seem to respond to my ad, so I suppose we are stuck together. Oh, a friend of mine knows of a magical object that can destroy even the mightiest of boulders. However, this friend won't share this information unless the locals are okay with it. Convince, oh, zero locals now, to let us have the item. Then return to me. <laughs> so he's probably going to have to speak to somebody else then. He been nerd. Mm -hmm. Weebs, full of leaves. Right, he's earned 90 ancient coins and 50 ancient coins, an increased relationship with Junan Lu. Right, a friendly interview. I knew the local populace would come around to the idea of boulder smashing. However, it seems Zhang Hua won't take my word as the truth. Zhang, Zhang Hua wants to speak to you personally about this whole boulder smashing business. Go answer Zhang Hua's silly questions so that we can get to boulder smashing. So answer questions of Zhang Hua to learn the information about the magic item. Okay, answer questions. Sure, we've spoken to him before, haven't we? What's this? I'll respond to question. Okay. <laughs> Must have been in the middle. It was very rude of him, wasn't it? He just walked away before before he could answer her. Never mind. <laughs> so where's this guy then? Sure we've seen him before. 
Oh, is he up in the uh, athletic place, the gym place? Looks like it, doesn't that? And we've got to do that for work as well. Where's he going? So we be. Is he the one that's going to give us the, bo the boulder bash then? Pangu's axe. Where is he? Oh, is, is that him? Oh, there he is, standing behind the door. <laughs> right, John has earned 120 ancient coins and increased relationship with Zhang Hua. Village valuables. Finally, an even-headed person with whom to do business. Jinan Lu cannot go a single sentence without ranting about smashing boulders. I will share this information with you, but first you must prove you will benefit the greater good. Shang Simla's coffers have run dry and the city needs funding to expand the local works. Gather three pieces of valuable lapis lazuli and deliver it to me. I will in turn give it to the city. You will be paid for your assistance, I assure you. Okay. Right, let's see if this is showing up. Yes, it is. Uh, we haven't got any at all. So, hopefully, oh no, he's not going to be able to get that, is he? Because it's stuck in there. Perhaps we can try. <laughs> I'll soon see if he does his... Uh, I can't get there thing. Oh, maybe he can. Probably like one piece a day or something. I shouldn't be such a pessimist, should I? <laughs> that happened with the jade, didn't it? <laughs> Shame he doesn't have any more of that already on him. Cool. Right, so I got one. Is there any more? <laughs> Aha! There's another one there. Any more anywhere else? Nearby? No, it's just going to be the two, isn't it? have to wait till the morning. What's the time? Oh, it's already six o'clock in... Oh, there's one there. Oh, well. We'll grab that one then. And then... So he's got to go all the way over there. Or maybe we should have gone... At least he's got it on his motorbike. And then we'll go on this one here. Okay. <laughs> At least he's got a motorbike ride. It makes it a lot, lot quicker, doesn't it? Maybe we should have done the other one first. I think he was nearer to the other one. Never mind. Looks like I'll probably have to put him to sleep. <laughs> Can always pitch up a tent somewhere, can't he? Oh, it's this place again. We came here before. <laughs> so, I've tried so. to pitch up a tent here. Well, it's a bit of a way out, isn't it? Oh, I forgot we've got that tear of um, Horus or whatever it is. So I. I'm assuming that will show up here as well, not just Egypt. There it is, isn't it? Activate. 
What's that? Become best friends with Zhang. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it does show up here as well. Oh, there's another one there. That is Lazuli. Oh well, never mind. It's going to go all the way over here. We're getting that one there. So, okay. This is motorbike. Uh, most of the way. I probably, um, because I say he do with some sleep. It means he's got to go all the way back to the um, uh, the gym to deliver it, unless the guy's moved now. Right, let's see where this guy is. Yeah, he's all the way over there. Well, I think it'd be a good idea then to um, let him have a little sleep. Uh, might as well get him to go back to base camp then. For now. <laughs> and um, and we carry on in the morning. There's no point in going all the way over there and then having to come all the way back again. Let's see if we can pitch a tent here, can we? He's going to go upstairs anyway, isn't he? Where's the bed? There we go. Let's uh, sleep there. It's a pity he didn't have a potion on him, really. Paparazzi photographing him while he's asleep. That's very, very strange. <laughs> uh, medium quality dried food. We're going to eat that. And then we'll deliver these gems. So what's he going to get for this then? He's got to gather three pieces of valuable lapis lazuli and deliver it to him. I will in turn give it to the city and he will be paid for your assistance. What paid with Pangu's axe or money? You'll we'll soon find out I suppose. We've still got to do the uh, martial arts thing for work. We need to do that before we get home. Oh, he's not at the uh, gym anymore. But we've still got um, uh, 10 days left, so. Zartaduni. 
Cool. John has earned 90 ancient coins, 182 simoleons and 50 ancient coins. Pangu's Axe. You have proven to me that you would not abuse Pangu's Axe. You are ready to learn about it. It is a magical tool forged by the sorcerers of Dong Huo to destroy the barricades of his enemies. Okay, fortunately those times are long past and you are not Dong Huo. I now bestow you, bestow you, <laughs> bestow, bestow you with the key to the Temple of Heaven. Oh yes, within its halls you will find Pangu's axe. This will be very dangerous. Oh, very cool. <laughs> so we've got to find it ourselves then. Right, so enter the temple. Where's this temple? It's over here. Up, up in the mountains. That's right, we came here before. Right, where's that? I don't want him running all the way up those steps. I want him to go in here. Go through door. There we go. <laughs> so hopefully we can get through that other door that was locked before. Once we've got Pangu's axe then... Um, a lot of think more things are open to us then. What is his lifetime aspiration anyway? It's fully explore six tombs in each location. It's quite a feat, isn't it? a lot of paths as opposed to roads in China. Mind you, it's the same with Egypt, really. France isn't quite so bad. There's, I think there's more roads in France. stairs I think was it that first door that we walked down the stairs and uh, and the door was locked it was this one I'm sure it was there's a boulder there so hopefully then when he gets Pangu's axe he'll be able to Ah, here we go. Insert keystone. Cool. The Temple of Heaven. It's quite loud, isn't it? <laughs> right. Uh, the Temple of Heaven appears vast and dangerous. John will need to proceed carefully to find Pangu's axe and avoid a swift death. Pangu's axe resides in the temple just waiting to be found. Right, search for the axe. Okay, let's uh, use the stairs then. Oh, we've got our tier of Horus on. I'm going to put these walls up for the minute just in case there's anything nasty. 
and uh, check the floors. Yeah, it's showing us uh, lots of gems and things over here. I think we'll be all right, she says. <gasps> oh, there's a treasure treasure chest there. Well, let's uh, let's open that then. No secret doors, is there? All right, dried food always comes in handy. <laughs> around the corner here another treasure chest no got one in here and those doors there okay There's nothing there is there <laughs> right let's uh, open that then Cool. John has just discovered a new relic collection called Dangerous Creatures. The Dangerous Creatures collection has four relics in it. Cool, so that's taken away two of those points. What's this? Spa with someone. I'm going to pop that in. So what's this? So he got that Chinese food dog, 2,843. Okay, what's that? Oh, quartz. Right, now all this has opened up, but um, I want to check for traps or secret doors. And treasure chests, what's in there? Anything? Oh, there's a treasure chest there. Oh, there's lots of uh, corridors, isn't there? Nothing over there. Seems like all that's been. Uh -uh. Where did that go? Where is it? Oh, how strange. Does it say what you got? No. That's strange. Let's open it again. No, he did take it, but it doesn't say what it is. Okay. Uh, so all that's been fenced off There's nothing here is there it's the only way he can come isn't it isn't it where is he he's here okay ah there are stairs there. Okay, well we'll use these stairs then. Yeah, I don't know what that was because it was some treasure in there but it hasn't come up what it is and I can't see anything in here apart from that last one which is annoying. Let's put these... Uh, Walls down actually, it's can't, oops, can't see very much. Ah, oh, it looks like he's going to have to dive in there then. Just make sure we don't have any traps or anything. Don't want to 
Kill him off. Right, explore. Was that a shark? <laughs> right, swim through the tunnel. And we're here. Now these are traps here. Okay. It looks like we're gonna have to go through other wells as well. Other worlds as well. Looks like, yeah, as I say, there's traps there, trap there. We're going to have to be very careful here. But I think what we'll do, <laughs> we'll leave this episode here. Leave John in the Temple of Heaven. And uh, we will continue this adventure next time. And hopefully we'll, we'll get to uh, uh, find Pangu's axe. So thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Don't forget to uh, comment in the section below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all notifications in your inbox. And join me next time for the next exciting adventure of the Sands of Time. Bye bye.